this is uh, Tuli. So in this video we are going to talk about writing lines uh, to a text file. And uh, we're going to be using the file that write all lines uh, uh, function, uh, which will take a path and a list of uh, strings that we want to write to that file. Uh, I say list here, but uh, it's any uh, container that implements the ienumerable uh, interface uh, that contains strings. So any of this, any of the generic containers that have strings in them uh, will apply to this. So we could use an array of strings, we could use a list of strings, um, and other kinds of collections. So in this video we're, we're we are going to use that function to write some lines to a, to a text file. Uh, so let's see what we have here. I have uh, uh, gotten here these namespaces. Uh, the generic, uh, the collection that's generic allows me to get uh, the list class uh, system.io as usual, but that's where we're getting the, the file class and get access to these functions and uh, system that link it's just what's allowing me to get these kinds of functions on ienumerable and I also have a text file here so we can we're gonna try to pull these lines from these text files using the uh, read all lines function that we've already seen in a previous tutorial and you also see I have uh, some list of strings here I have the path to this file and I have uh, a path here to the new file I want to make uh, which will be lines.txt and this function here is the read all lines function that we wrote in a previous tutorial except this time it's uh, returning a list of strings and the way I'm doing that and since that function returns an array I take the array and using the link functionality I'm just uh, turning that into a list of strings so let's get going so first thing I'm gonna do is just uh, read the lorem.txt file and and take those um, uh, take those take that list of strings that I get from the file and print it in the other file lines.txt so let's do that in a function let's do public static void we are not going to return anything so let's call it write all lines to file so what do we want here we want uh, a path that's the path to to create the file app and we want uh, a list of string Enumerable. So we, we're just going to pass that to the function. Okay. All right. So, first thing we're going to do is call that function file that write write all lines we want to write that to the path and what we want to print are the lines Okay, so calling this function now because we know we can have some issues. 
right, let's put that into a try catch block. Mm -hmm. Let's do that. And let's catch the exception. Then we print the message. So let's just call this function. Well, first of all, let's get the text from lorem.txt. And remember, we have a function here to do that for us. Okay, let's just call this var text lines. Let's call the read all lines in the file function and the file I want is the file at path. Okay, so that gives me the, the text in that file. And what I want to do is print that into the other file. Write all lines to file and uh, I want to print that to the right to path and uh, text lines is what I want to write. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Alright, it gives us the file and it should have the same content as the loem.txt file. Alright, so that's that. Now, we could do the same thing with this list which is essentially the same as, not the same text, but uh, the same idea as getting a text from the text file. So let's just uh, get rid of that. Instead of using text line, let's just get this instead. All right. Since we're not using this anymore, that's why we're getting this wriggly line. So let's call it. Okay, so let's see what we get. We just get the text that we already have, that we gave it to print. So let's say we did not want to lose um, what we are, uh, the text that we already have in the file, and we wanted to just append to it. Okay. Append on lines. Which is similar to what we did uh, in the last tutorial. So let's try that. Okay. Let's look at lines. And we have double. So You can you can write lines to a file using the write all line functions, and there there actually is another uh, uh, overload of this function where you provide the encoding you would like the file to be written in, and uh, um, you can just get the the contents from from another file. You can get the contents from your program. Uh, you might be generating content in some way, you might be getting content from somewhere else. Uh, you can always write the lines to the file using this function. If you don't want to uh, overwrite the data that's already in the file, you can use the append function. So this was a fairly easy uh, video to make. Uh, we already had this function in in there already we just had to slightly modify it and uh, this is the function we wrote to just either write by changing here or append the lines to the file um, this is this tutorial uh, please uh, send me your questions if you have any subscribe if you want to see more and uh, hit the like button if you like the videos